Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Planet 46 comic show. I'm Matt Price. I'm here with Kyle Roberts. Kyle, what's going on this week? Yeah, Iron Man 3 is out. It's also free comic book day this weekend, and we've got some Man of Steel news. All that more this week on the Planet 46 comic show. First up, Iron Man 3. Hit the theaters today. It's out. Shane Black steps into the director's chair for Iron Man 3 and gives the superhero action series a dose of buddy cop action. Black, who wrote the first Lethal Weapon and previously directed star Robert Downey Jr. in Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, brings a little more action and grit to the proceedings. A good note struck through by Black throughout this is how the events of the past year in the mortal of the movie have had their effect on Tony, meeting gods, aliens, and time-lost heroes have shaken him. And at times, the ever-cocky Tony Stark can barely deal with his own anxieties. In the film's middle section, as Tony tracks down information on an explosion in Tennessee, he's aided by a precocious young man named Harley, played by Ty Keener. The interaction between Tony and Harley makes for some of the film's more fun moments. We're kind of looking at some of the trailer here. Kyle, what did you think? Yeah, and obviously, you know, the trailer looks awesome. We knew it was going to be great special effects and explosions and all that kind of stuff. I love, you know, uh, like you said, the grittiness and more like a die-hard Iron Man movie, mm -hmm. which is pretty cool, or Lethal Weapon, I guess, yeah. we should say. But, um, yeah, I love all the, uh, you know, Tony Stark, why people like him so much is he's not a, a mutant, mm -hmm. you know, but they really hit that home that he's very vulnerable in this movie, and I think they did a great job with it. All right, that's very cool. That leads us to our question of the day. And that is, you know, what do you think of Iron Man 3? That's right, you can leave the answer for us in the comments, I guess, mm -hmm. your rating, Kyle. Yeah, my rating is three out of four stars. Okay, I agree. I would actually give it three out of four stars as well. <laughs> so we uh, come in on the same on this one. Iron Man 3 out in theaters now. Sweet. And what was it, I mean, without a, if a spoil, spoiler warning, what's yeah. your favorite part? Oh, I, you know, I, I like the middle section, I guess, is pretty good. Although I also like him and Don Cheadle kind of doing the, uh, the uh, lethal stuff. weapon stuff. Yeah, yeah, so both of those probably I parts. think my favorite parts are actually with the kid. Yeah. Because I think those are some really good scenes. Really good scenes, I yeah. agree. Sweet. All right, uh, topic two, Free Comic Book Day is this weekend. And that's right, first Saturday in May. For the 12th year, Free Comic Book Day will be celebrated at comic shops around the world. Millions of comics will be given away. Uh, the event is celebrated on the first Saturday in May. This year, that coincides with another geek-friendly holiday, Star Wars Day, mm -hmm. uh, because Star Wars fans, of course, celebrate May 4th as Star Wars Day. Uh, may the 4th, 4th be with you. you. Exactly. Um, that refers, of course, to May the Force Be With You, the unseen energy field that flows through the Star Wars universe. If you're watching our show, you probably know that. This year's Free Comic Day features a Star Wars story from Dark Horse Comics, and there are 52 total Free Comic Day comics you can choose from, including Superman, Batman, The Avengers, The Simpsons, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Those will all be featured at this year's event. And you can follow me on my blog at, at Nerdage. I'll be live blogging all day, so you can check out what's going on at any minute. Cool, and finally, there's a new Superman Man of Steel poster. It's pretty cool. Yeah, this was a new poster from Man of Steel that was released by Yahoo Movies. And of course, that film is set for a June 14th release. Um, in the movie, Henry Cavill is Clark Kent, AKA Superman. Amy Adams stars as Lois Lane. Kevin Costner is Jonathan Kent, and Russell Crowe plays Jor-El, Superman's father on Krypton. So another cool bit of information coming out from that film, and it looks like that's kind of building up. It's getting some good buzz so far. Yeah, absolutely. And no review file this week. Just want to that's talk right. about, you know. Iron so there's Man. so much we want to go get you a bunch of free <laughs> comics, and uh, and then come back next week to see more from us. So, um, hey, thanks for watching, everybody. Um, I'm Matt Price for Kyle Roberts. We'll see you next time.